and my sister Emily is here joining me today. And we're gonna be making dinner together. It's a six ingredient spaghetti squash pizza bake. Now, if you've never used spaghetti squash, now is the perfect time to learn because we're gonna be starting from the very scratch of the spaghetti squash and showing you exactly what we did. So basically, I'm, I'm gonna have you put this into a bowl, but I'm gonna tell you what I did first. I just simply pierced it with a knife a few times, stuck it in the microwave, easy, five to 10 minutes until it's soft. And then when you can see that the strands are kind of soft and loose, then you know that it's done. So you can cut it in half, let it cool a bit. And then Emily, I'm gonna have you take the seeds out and put the seeds into a discard bowl. Sure. And then you can add the actual strands into a large bowl. Perfect. Along with two eggs. Okay. So that's what I'll have you do. And I'm gonna get started on the sausage pizza part of this. So I have a just a one pound package of chicken sausage. You can use any kind of sausage you like. There are tons of different varieties. I chose a sweet Italian chicken sausage because it pairs perfectly with this recipe. And I'm gonna turn my heat up to medium high. I'm gonna spray the pan and just get it kind of lightly browned. Then I'm gonna add just a few more ingredients. So here's what we have for our six ingredient dinner. We have some marinara sauce. We have a cup and a half of marinara sauce and then just one teaspoon of basil and then one fourth cup of Parmesan cheese. And then we have the sausage, the spaghetti squash and the eggs. And remember I said that seasonings don't count. So really this is just our bonus, our basil. Now you could also season the sausage with a little bit of salt and pepper if it's not already seasoned, but this is already pre-seasoned sausage, so it's good to go. So Emily, have you ever, I know you've cooked with the spaghetti squash, but I love it. did you feel intimidated by them at first when you saw them in the grocery store? Yeah, because they seemed unusual. Just this big, hard huge and vegetable, yeah. and you're not really sure what to do with it. Um, but now that you know how easy they are. I love it. I actually love to keep one in my cupboard because they last so long. Yeah. And so it's like if I have nothing in my, you know, ready for dinner, it's so easy for me to throw this with some ground turkey and some sauce and easily make some alternative to spaghetti. Yeah. yeah. And even if you don't do something like a spaghetti squash bake like we're making today with the eggs and everything else, it's just simple to cook a spaghetti squash up cook up some ground meat and some sauce and eat it just like you would pasta. So you can see just by looking at it that it looks almost like it's spaghetti in the bowl. So it really is a great pasta alternative and I use it all the time. In fact, a lot of times what I'll do is I'll make some kind of meat sauce and then for Maddie and Sean, they like brown rice noodles so I'll serve the sauce over those and then I'll make for myself just one small spaghetti squash. So what we did is we did two small spaghetti squash they're about the size of my hand, but if you have a bigger one, you just need one large spaghetti squash. So it's kind of dependent on what they have in stock at the grocery store. So I'm just gonna finish browning up the sausage. It's looking good. You wanna let it kind of cook for a minute without touching it. And it's looking good here. I added the oregano, and like I said, here you could also season the sausage with a little bit of salt, pepper, garlic powder if you'd like to, if it doesn't have some flavors added. And really, you could skip this step altogether. The chicken sausage is cooked already, but I like to brown it just a little to bring out the flavor. And you can replace it with really any kind of meat, right? Yeah. You could do shredded chicken that's already pre-cooked if you have some left over from a recipe. You could do um, ground beef, ground turkey, ground chicken. And then I'm going to add my sauce and my Parmesan cheese because the chicken sausage is nicely brown. And you just added the two eggs, so that's yep. looking good. This is so easy, I could easily do this. And what are some other really quick go-to meals that you have at home? Uh, well, we love to do breakfast for dinner because we usually have pancake batter on hand at all times and eggs, so yep. that's a favorite of ours. And then also homemade pizzas, which we just use like pre-made crust or flatbread, which we usually have. Yep. We usually have some cheese and sauce. So those are our quick go-tos if I don't really have time to cook. And another great thing about doing anything that's a bake or a casserole is you can make it ahead of time and it tastes great all week. Mm -hmm. So you know you could do double this recipe and do it in a 9 by 13 pan and then that way you can have it for the whole week if it lasts that long. In your right. House. <laughs> so now because we have eggs in here, what I'll want to do is just add, do you have a big spoon over there? Yeah, you want to grab one. one? 
Um, just add like one spoonful first to the egg mixture, and that way you're not gonna cook the eggs really quickly, which would give you scrambled eggs. So just one small scoop of the hot mixture, and then another scoop, and then we can add the rest. So what this is, is it's called tempering. So it's just bringing up the egg temperature in this batter slowly so that we don't get scrambled Makes eggs. sense. That'd be kind of gross. Yeah. <laughs> scrambled eggs in a spaghetti squash <laughs> bake with a pizza flavor. That's a lot of combinations yeah. there. So then we'll go ahead and add the rest of it. And you can see how easy this was. It took us, what, five minutes to make Super almost. easy. All things you have on hand, usually. Yep. And what I love about having sausage on hand is that it's already pre-cooked most of the time. So. It's already ready to go, and you just throw it into a recipe. So I'm, I'll have you stir that up. It doesn't have to be perfectly stirred up either. Then I sprayed an eight by eight baking pan with cooking spray. And so then we're just gonna add it to the pan, and then we're gonna bake it 425 degrees for about 30 minutes. You'll wanna check on it about 25, just see how it's looking. And really all you're looking for is that it kind of comes together almost like a lasagna. And you can top it with some more cheese, some pepperoni, some Parmesan cheese, anything you like before putting it in the oven and that'll get nice and melted on top, mm. just like a lasagna. So this is gonna kind of resemble the flavors of lasagna and you see how simple and easy it was.